So there is a point on your nofap process of ridding pornography and becoming free of that crap. There is a point where it is hard, but but overall nofap should be easy. It really should. And once we get beyond the point of the PMO cycle where it's just so hard to break and the lustful urges are just too much. There, there does come a point where we break past that. And even when we do break past that PMO mindset where, you know, we might get temptations here or there, but we've, we've come closer to, I don't want to say defeating, because it can always come back, but make the urge subside, right? We, we've gained progress in that. But there's there's very well something, a couple of, of things that if you're not aware of can really harm you on, on this process of, of doing no fat. So first one here is going to be negative emotions. Okay, we all have negative emotions, but if you have, say, sadness or anger or shame or guilt in your life that you have not resolved and you go ahead and do nofap, what's going to happen is the nofap is just going to amplify your sadness. It's just going to amplify your anger. And it's, it's going to be really difficult for you to find enjoyment while doing nofap. Nofap's meant to clear, clear your brain, give you focus so you can kick ass and get things done. But at the same time, you should be experiencing a fair, a fair de deal of joy. So negative emotions, man. If you don't come to terms with negative things you're dealing with, it's going to be very hard for you to experience joy and get the full benefit of practicing nofap. Right. And the next thing too, that this is the mindset that a lot of these emotions can stem from but you might be having too much of a competitive mindset, whether consciously or subconsciously. You think it's us versus them. You might envy some, somebody that has something that you don't have and you're a little bit bitter, right? You see a guy in the gym lifting more weight than you. You're like, man, this guy's just got good genetics. And you might think that that's not running through your consciousness. Bro, just look at our society. Just just walk down the street. Just walk into the gym. Like everyone's like mean mugging each other and trying to one up each other. It's all it's all this elaborate compensation, bro. When you when you have everything, you don't need to take from people. You don't need to prove that you're better than people. Your mindset and the energy that you emanate is that of joy, is that of giving, is that of being able to express humor, uplifting people. And that's who you are, bro. You're someone who brings joy to others. And... That's your mindset. That's who you are. Because otherwise, bro, if you think that you need to take from people energetically or whatnot, or you need to always one-up people and prove that you're the best, that's going to... Now, that's not to say don't be competitive. Like, dude, become your best, best version. If your buddy's benching more than you, you should be like, man, he's kicking ass. Fuck yeah. But then you should... Maybe get some tips from him. Maybe 
figure out what he's doing right so that you can improve. But it's you're competitive. You want to become your best version. But it's the place it's coming from. You're not envious. You're not holding on to this negative energy. It's more of like your friend's better than you at basketball. Your friend's better than you at soccer or baseball. You're using that as fuel to make yourself the best version of yourself. So I'm not saying don't be competitive. But again, what I'm saying is you are already whole. You have everything you need. When you do no fap, it makes your energy so magnetic. But again, when you get caught in these negative mindsets of thinking that everyone's against you, it's gonna mess up your energy, man. So take it upon yourself, do some conscious thought and become that person that spreads joy, that uses humor, that uplifts people, bro. And when you do that, no fat becomes easier. You don't feel like you have the stress. Again, when you, when you transmit your sexual energy, when you retain your seed, whatever energy, whatever the main energy of your consciousness is, will be amplified, bro. So if you do the work and you become a person, you release trauma, you become a person that's more lighthearted and joyous and focused, that's going to amplify and you're going to experience more joy. You're going to experience more happiness. But again, if you hold on to those negative emotions, no fat can oftentimes make those worse, bro. It really can. So that'd be it for today's video, man. Hope you enjoyed it. And more importantly, man, hope you gained some value from it today. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.